Hi everyone. Just thought I'd post a uh, quick little update. I'm currently in a uh, hotel room in China, and uh, I'm actually well, uh, I'm actually in Shanghai, and uh, I thought I'd do a little video. Oh, I just turned on the TV by accident. Um, I thought I'd do a um, a little update video uh, regarding my Raspberry Pi VPN server. So for those of you that don't know, um, China heavily filters their internet. So if you are uh, in China and you want to access things like Google or Facebook or uh, YouTube or Twitter or anything like that, um, they tend to be blocked. So for example, uh, right now I'm not connected to the VPN. And if I try to go to Google, it will not work. Uh, nothing bad will happen. It'll just time out. Uh, probably in about 10, 20 seconds, you'll get an error message. Um, and uh, so that's that's a very uh, common thing, a very annoying thing if you're uh, in China on a, a little vacation or a business trip like I am. So um, I just thought I'd demonstrate that the VPN server that I set up with the Raspberry Pi does work, and it works quite well. So um, like I demoed in the video where I show you how to set up the server, uh, and, and I'll link that down below. So if you haven't seen it, you can check it out. Um, first, we need to open up um, S Tunnel or Stono. And then start the GUI. And that will um, put a little icon down in the corner right here. Uh, and then you can go ahead and open up your uh, OpenVPN configuration file. So I go to my file, I right click on it, and then I start OpenVPN on that config file. I confirm that I want to run it um, as administrator. <clears throat> and so uh, it'll go ahead and connect, um, and it'll take about 10 or 20 seconds usually. All right, so when it says initialization sequence completed, you are connected, you're ready to go. And now if I go back, uh, I have access to, um, well, uh, the internet. <laughs> so if I try to go to Google now, it can be kind of slow because the international uh, links uh, in China are usually um, well, there, there's the firewall that's slowing things down, but they're also um, the, the connections are too small for the amount of traffic, so it'll slow down. But yeah, you can see we can get to Google, uh, you can get to Facebook now. Um, but yeah, so this the, the fact that it's slow is not an issue of the Raspberry Pi or um, the connection on the Raspberry Pi. It's just a uh, if you've ever been to China, you're, you're well aware that um, accessing things outside of China uh, can be very, very slow. Anyway, so you can see it does work now, um, <clears throat> and I'll go ahead and just do a little quick uh, demo with my camp or with my um, smartphone too, so you can see that I can connect to the VPN on my Android uh, smartphone. All right, so now I'm using my uh, computer to try and record this. Um, <clears throat> So we can see that I'm connected to uh, China Telecom. You can see that down here at the uh, bottom. And so with the VPN off, it's kind of the same deal. If I go to web browser and I try to go to Google, uh, it's going to try. You can see there is the uh, progress bar up there, but it's not going to work. And uh, we'll get this error message all over again. So. <clears throat> Again, like I showed in the um, Raspberry Pi VPN server video, if you go to SSL Droid, and after you configure it, you open up whatever you configured, and you go to Apply, and then you go to Open VPN Connect, and after you set it all up, like I, I show in that video, you go to Connect, and you'll see Waiting for Server, and then it'll say Connecting, and then a little bit later it'll say pulling settings and then you're connected. <clears throat> so now I'm uh, on the VPN and if I go back to the web browser we can get to Google and everything else. So there we are. 
And likewise, you can go to Facebook or Twitter or YouTube or whatever. So uh, let's see. Twitter.com. Anyway, so there you go. Um, <clears throat> just uh, thought I'd show that. So if you're uh, ever going to be in China and you need a um, way to get on the internet, um, using OpenVPN and S-Tunnel is one way to do that. And I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the follow-up video. And once again, I'll link in the uh, video where I show how to set up the Raspberry Pi VPN server down below. All right, if you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video, and if you did, please share it with anybody that you think might benefit from it.